Hi friends, there's been lots of talk around what's good and bad in Modern Warfare 2. One thing that keeps coming up is skill based matchmaking in Modern Warfare 2. So I'm going to talk about skill based matchmaking, what it is and how it works. Oh, by the way, on our stream next Friday, which starts at around 8pm UK time, which I think is about 12pm PT time, we will be doing a custom games tournament for subs which you, yes you watching this video, can take part in. And there'll be prizes up for grabs including battle passes and Call of Duty points, with up to $50 worth of prizes available, and all you've got to do is subscribe and head over to our Discord using the link in the comments down below. Okay, so on to skill based matchmaking for today's video. When you search for a match in any video game, it uses a complex algorithm to find other players that you can play with to fill up your lobby, and this is called matchmaking. Skill based matchmaking, often referred to as SBMM, is a system multiplayer games typically use to place players of a similar skill level in the same match against each other as part of that matchmaking. In theory, this is to balance the teams and maximise the enjoyment players get from the game. Now according to reports, games have always had elements of skill based matchmaking despite what people think, even older Call of Duty games. The main reason it feels different now is mainly due to the technological advances where there's more data led decisions within that algorithm that mean it makes a lot more micro adjustments to your skill based matchmaking than it did 20 years ago or even just 5 years ago. And things you might not really think about are now included in this thought process for the algorithm. You see, before it might have just been really simple, this guy has a 2kd, so let's find other players close to that kd and match them together. That's how it was in the old days, so it was still a form of skill based matchmaking, but today it's very different. It's now not just that the guy has 2kd, it's now that you've also made 10 recall adjustments in a game, with map coverage of 80%, with 70% more movement versus average players, using dolphin dives 80% of the time, with 5 drop shots, with a reaction time 0.1 seconds and the list goes on and on and on. And all of these things come together with a bunch of micro adjustments, making your SBMM a lot more refined in today's world than it used to be in older Call of Duty games. And that's why SBMM feels more prevalent in today's world. Obviously, the fact that a lot of big name streamers are talking about it as well does make it a bit more of a focal point. So that's a bit about how SBMM works, but why do people hate it? Well, if you think about it, based on what I've just said, if you're a good player, then you'll constantly be in good lobbies with other good players, and if you're a bad player, then you'll constantly be with other bad players. This might sound good, and it actually is from a competitive point of view, however if you're outside of a ranked mode, i.e. pretty much all of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 at the moment, then it essentially means you've got loads of games where there isn't much variety, and instead you've just got really sweaty lobbies with players that are pretty much the same skill as you. Ultimately that can kind of make you feel like you're not really getting anywhere. You see part of the fun of the game is making it feel like you're progressing and getting better and you do really cool things in the game like increasing your kill death ratio. But if you're in sweaty lobbies you're going to have really consistent games which again is good from a competitive view. But as Modern Warfare 2 at the moment doesn't really have that competitive mode that's why a lot of people have been complaining. And that's pretty much how Mark Rubin describes skill based matchmaking. He's a former executive high up in the Call of Duty devs or at least he used to be and he is now working on a another big game for Ubisoft, so he knows what he's talking about. And personally, I do kind of agree with that. I think SBMM in its current form just isn't helping the community enjoy the game. But I do think there needs to be some degree of SBMM. I don't think it should be removed completely. You don't really want lobbies with level 0 noobs playing against pro players. In reality, I think there just needs to be a bunch of adjustments made to how SBMM is matching players. Anyway, that's a bit about SBMM in Modern Warfare 2 and why people are liking it or hating it. Mostly hating it from what I've seen. Let me know what you think of the SBMM in Modern Warfare too in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you later.